Hey guys, it's Sarah from All Coin Best Ladies. I mean, wow. Look at the market cap, 469 billion. It went up by 20 billion ever since I made a video yesterday, which is absolutely amazing. Bitcoin is almost at 10K. It's, it's absolutely bullish. It's one of the best weekends we had in a while when it comes to the growth of the cryptos. Let's see what's currently had the biggest change in 24 hours. There we go. Cyber Miles, Wiki Chain, and Pundi, Stratus, Elastis, Bitcoin Cash, Fusion, Litecoin, Litecoin's making moves, Polymath, Chainlink, Tron, Bitcoin Gold, Status, Bitcoin Inch. I mean, look at this. We were talking about change of 26% and it's pretty much all of them are gaining something. Even a half a percent is always something. It's better a steady growth than a pump and dump. I always say that. But today what we're going to talk about is Ripple. Ripple has the reputation of you either hate it or you love it as it sort of stands against what cryptocurrency is meant to be by being one of the most centralized cryptos out there and the relation it has with banking systems. But a lot of people I speak to, they tend to say that, oh yeah, I wanna invest, and I was thinking of going for Ripple. And I think it's important to know some of the facts about Ripple, and I thought it's good to make a video like that, because it's always good to know something new. So Ripple is still a newcomer when it comes to the crypto world. It's not just that, but it's one of the better performers in the business, as it went up by, 30,000% I think, uh, just within the year. That's why it makes sense to know what exactly Ripple is about and be aware of the most recent news about it. So the first one will be one of the most commonly misunderstood things is that the official name of this crypto isn't Ripple. Technically, you can't buy 100 Ripple. The actual name is XRP. The lab that came up with the XRP token is called Ripple Labs. It's quite a catchy name and easy to remember, to be fair. That's why so many people use XRP exchangeably with the name Ripple, but the fact remains it's not the same name. You may also wonder why Bitcoin is not typically capitalized as other cryptocurrencies, and Ripple is a good example. That would be a good question, and I'll answer it right here as to why that happens. So it's because Bitcoin is not a name for a company in the way so many other cryptocurrencies are, like Stara, Ripple, for example. In fact, Ripple is not either, but it seems like it, and it gives a credibility and liquidity. Number two, XRP token is used only in one of the three different products that Ripple offers. The company's flagship product is called the XCurrent, and ironically, it's got nothing to do with the XRP cryptocurrency. The idea behind XCurrent is to let banks do transactions with each other in a reliable way, regardless of the currency they use, regardless if it's crypto or not. Two of the biggest names in the financial business are already using this product, like American Express and Santander. We have also have XRapid. And it's the Ripple product name that trades XRP tokens via the X current system. This product has several key advantages, including opening up the new markets and making transactions even faster, but it's not used widely yet. Number three, Bitcoin can be mined, but you can't mine Ripple. That's just the way in which users calculate SHA-256, useful collisions that make the currency grow. Other currencies also grow in this way, but not Ripple. Every Ripple coin there is has already been calculated. Not every coin is circulating right now, but it's there already, like unlike Bitcoin. And now let's get on to the number four. Only about 40% of XRP tokens are circulating right now. The XRP currency, which is currently trading at 91 cents, and is ranked number three on coin market cap. The XRP currency was designed to include about 100 billion tokens. Most of them are not in circulation yet. Ripple Labs owns about 60 billion at the time of this video. Of those, they directly own 6.25 billion and they keep 55 billion in escrow accounts for future use. In the future, over the next few years, they will make 1 billion XRP tokens available each month so the currency supply will grow dramatically in coming years. And this is one of the main reasons why a lot of people don't like Ripple, as the company owns so much of it. Number five, XRP currency is not about payments. People new to cryptocurrency think it's all about paying for something. If things were actually like that, nobody would need anything else than Bitcoin 
or maybe a couple of other coins. But that is not the point, which is why XRP or Ripple is not designed to be a payment currency. Could be for sure, but your favorite retailer like Amazon or Alibaba is not about to accept it anytime soon. And Ripple actually has no problem with that. Instead of payments, Ripple is designed to be a transfer coin for moving money from one point to another, which is even better for you if not so practical. It is quicker, cheaper and more efficient than your standard bank transfer. Number six will be that the network of Ripple is much faster than Ethereum or Bitcoin. So we're currently on Ripple's Twitter and just before the Christmas, they posted this about the transactions. So Bitcoin is very reliable, but it's quite slow. It can take up to 80 minutes right now to complete a single Bitcoin transaction. Ethereum is faster, but it still takes time about a couple of minutes to complete a transaction which is obviously much faster than Bitcoin. But basically the reason for it is because your transaction needs to be stored in the blockchain record and every block needs a calculation that takes time and the resources the Bitcoin community offers. Ripple is basically instantaneous when talking about the transaction times. Ripple doesn't take minutes or hours, but it actually takes seconds. That will give you a huge advantage when you need your money transfer quickly. This speed also means that cryptocurrency can manage a much higher volume than any other just because it's quick. Global financial giants such, such as previously mentioned American Express, Santander, and recently MoneyGram as well are already trying this technology because it's quick, cheap, reliable, and simply works. And before we go to the number seven, which is the last point of my video, it's not a professional financial advice, it's just basically seven facts about Ripple. I am not trying to show Ripple in any way, I'm just trying to share the knowledge. Last but not least, definitely, is that the Ripple charges a minimalistic transaction fee, literally. And this is quite an important thing in cryptocurrency, especially when the currency needs the time and resources to be mined, as it is with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is constantly expensive in this regard and miners need an incentive so they can keep their resources focused on doing the calculations every transaction needs. This one is Ripple's one of the best advantages. It costs about 1% compared to Bitcoin. The highest transaction cost this currency has ever had has been about 3 cents, which is nothing compared with the $1.15 average transaction fee that Bitcoin needs or the 30 cents Ethereum needs. Ripple is reliable, fast and cheap. It is a real currency with the real world implications. It performs great in the real world and it just changes the way you transfer money over long distances. So that's it for now, guys. What do you guys think about Ripple? Do you guys hodl any? Why do you hodl? Do you hodl it for the quick, easy gains? Do you do it because you believe in the system? Or you just do it because someone told you to and you don't want to get rid of it because you bought near the all-time high? and you're currently down, let me know in the comments. Remember to hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, follow me on Twitter at AllCoinSara as well, and follow us AllCoinBuzzLadies as well at ABuzzLadies, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye!